As a parent of a child with a complex heart defect, you have already developed a large amount of knowledge and skill to care for your child. However, there are some things about the Fontan operation that are different, and you may have some worries about the Fontan. The purpose of this and other videos is to help prepare you for your upcoming journey. One problem that can occur after the Fontan operation is a collection of fluid around the lungs, between the lungs and the chest wall. This is called pleural fluid. Pleural fluid can develop after any form of heart surgery, but is particularly common after the Fontan operation. This is because the veins that return blood from the body back to the heart have higher pressure in them after the Fontan. This higher pressure causes fluid to collect in some places, such as around the lungs. There are a number of ways that the medical and nursing team treats this. Tubes are put in the pleural space in the operating room at the end of surgery. These tubes drain the pleural fluid. Sometimes we call these JP drains. JP drains cannot be removed until the fluid draining from them has gone down to almost nothing. This may take several weeks in some cases. It's hard to predict ahead of time how long this will take, as every child is different. Sometimes, children are sent home from the hospital with one or two tubes still in them. There may be some discomfort, but this does not prevent them from having a normal routine and walking around. Some pain medication by mouth may be required. In our experience, most children sent home with tubes are able to have the tubes removed within one week of leaving the hospital. Removing tubes can be done safely in the outpatient clinic by one of our team members. In addition to JP drains, there are other things we do to treat a pleural fluid collection. These include medications that make the child pee more than usual, such as Lasix, restricting the amount of fluid that the child drinks, recommending a low-fat diet if tests show that the fluid contains a lot of fat, which is sometimes the case. Finally, repeat surgery is occasionally needed to reduce this fluid drainage. The details of treatment are not the same for every child. This is because the team must consider the amount of drainage and the amount of fat in the fluid when making treatment decisions. Although having JP drains for a long time can be frustrating, the fluid eventually goes away. It's never a problem forever. You and your child will get through this. We hope that this is helpful. In our experience, parents who learn about pleural fluid and JP drains before their child's Fontan surgery often find it easier to cope with when it happens. This video was developed by the Fontan Education Study Team at the Stollery Children's Hospital. Thank you for your attention.